Hey, what is up guys? So we got three new rank 4 XYZs that we're going to be taking a look at. And there's actually one that you can actually use, uh, you know, rank 3 monsters to go for. But let's kick it off with probably one of the most insane generic XYZs. This is basically an Elswarm Judgment Dragon. His name is Rikishiki vs. Byoto. But the names, you know, might be changed. So anyways, it is a Light Fiend monster. And like I said, this is generic, which means it does not require you to have, you know, Elswarm monsters. At the moment, I mean, if this gets changed, I'll definitely let you guys know. I'll put all their effects down below in the description box, but we'll briefly talk about it. So, um, his effect is, if the combined number of cards in your hand and side of the field is less than the combined number of cards in your opponent's hand and side of the field, you can attach one material from this card, destroy all cards on the field except this one. But any damage inflicted to your opponent this turn becomes zero. The effect can only be activated during your main phase of your, or your opponent's battle phase. So that is insane. That's a Judgment Dragon that you can use during your opponent's battle phase. That's that's just a little bit OP. Just just a little bit. I think that that is insane. And the fact that it's, you know, generic, that really opens up the door for a lot of decks. Now, even though you can technically use it on your opponent's battle phase, I would say, you know, if you're at a disadvantage and you use this card and they happen to have a bunch of back row and you're destroying everything, more than likely, unless they can draw a whole bunch of cards, you probably won't be able to use it again, uh, unless, you know, they happen to have so much advantage and at that point that, you know, they might just be winning the duel anyway. So this really definitely helps uh, players come back into the game. Like, if you're at a disadvantage, you make this card, you can simply just win. This card, like I said, I feel is probably one of the most insane uh, XYZs to come out in the game and it's generic which means it doesn't require you to have like dark monsters or something like um a Elsewhere Monsters. But anyways, that's probably one of the best cards uh, that we'll be talking about. And next up, we're going to be covering a Bujin card. So this is um, Bujin Tsukiyomi. <laughs> it's a Light Beast Warrior Monster, uh, and it requires two level 4 Light Monsters, because it is for the Bujin. So its effect is, once per turn, you can attach one material, send your entire hand to the graveyard, then draw two cards. When this card leaves the field due to an opponent's card effect, if it had material attached to it, you can special summon as many level 4 Beast Warrior type Bujin uh, Monsters uh, as the same amount that were uh, attached to it um, from your graveyard. And you can only control one Mujin Tsukiyomi. Like some of these wordings uh, off the translation that I'm reading are a little bit off. I'll put a, the, uh, the official one down below in the description box. But like I said, the translation thing that I'm using might not be like perfect, but it's pretty darn close. Like I'm trying to read it to you guys and give you pretty much the closest one that I can think of. Because like, like I said, the wording is kind of off on this translation. But uh, next up we have a card that almost looks like Slacker Magician, if you guys know this card. Uh, this card is called Downed Magician, and it is a uh, rank 4, uh, level 4 spellcaster, uh, and it does require you to have spellcaster monsters, um, and you can also XYZ summon this card by using uh, a rank 3 or lower XYZ monster you control as the XYZ material, and it says XYZ materials attached to that monster also become XYZ material on this card. Uh, you cannot XYZ summon using this method during main phase 2. This card gains 200 attack for each XYZ material attached to it. If this card attacks a defense position monster... Okay, I think it means piercing battle damage, but it says inflict some type of defense. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's piercing, but like I said, uh, the translation I'm using for this might not be perfect. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it just deals uh, piercing damage, and then when it um, inflicts battle damage, I'm not sure if that's only when it's being pierced or if it just inflicts battle damage, um, you get to detach one material from this card. I don't know how that's actually, like, great, but, um, yeah, so I guess when it inflicts piercing damage, you have to detach one, um, or if that's just inflicts damage in general. I don't know. We'll have to see it once the official thing comes out. Like I said, I'll, I'll try to find a better translation for you guys, but this is just, like, fresh off the post. So, yeah, uh, be ready to get sacked by this card. I have a feeling a lot of players... <laughs> are going to be playing this card and there are going to be times where they will go for this card and you'll be like oh why why do i have cards in my hand but you know dragon rulers if that deck is even still a thing you know after this card comes out uh dragon rulers will be like it's quiet i don't even need a hand and i'll just have you know all the free advantage that i need from my graveyard but like i said this card is going to be insane be on the lookout for this card um i'm not sure the exact date when this card comes out i'll leave it in the description box once below once i found it and like i said i'll leave all the uh translations and i'll update the translations for you guys if they uh, actually get better. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Asian Eyes, out.